Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Drupal Studios channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a scrolling background in Scratch. Let's jump straight into it. Now, the first thing we want to do is create a brand. I'm going to delete this sprite. I'm going to create a brand new sprite. Now, this sprite will act as our background that will be moving from you know right to left or left to right, whichever way you want. But for this video and this demonstration, I'll be using the background moving from right to left. So let's just create the ground. Let's just create a backdrop rather. It can be anything. It can literally be anything. I'm just going to do like a kind of like a forest kind of thing. Now it doesn't matter if your, you know, your background is kind of like overlapping the white stuff. Uh, I would say you want it to be kind of overlapping the white border here. You, you want it to be overlapping. So there is no like white borders and gaps in between when it's shifting from right to left or left to right. You want it to be just completely smooth transition throughout. So once you made your sprite, it can have some decoration. I'm just gonna add a little cloud here. All right, there we go. There's some clouds. And we're gonna head back to the coding section. Now we're gonna go to the control events tab, sorry, and grab a when green flag clicked. Then we wanna go to the motions and go to X, Y. Now, you may have some random digits here. All we want to do is just change these digits to zero. Click the green flag. Boom. Nice and simple. I'm also going to rename this to BG1. That is not the right thing. BG1. There we go. You can call it whatever. I'm just going to call it BG1 because it stands for background one because we're going to have two backgrounds. Then what we want to do now is go and grab a forever block in the control tab, so forever, and an if then. Then we want to go to the operators tab and grab a or block here, an equal to, and a less than. Doesn't matter which way you put it in, I'm just gonna put the equal to in first. Then we wanna go back to motion, and we want to go down to the x position variable here and just drag that into the empty gaps. And I'm going to drag that into the if then. I'm going to scroll all the way up. And we're going to find the change x by 10 block and drag that above the if then block. I'm just going to change this 10 to a negative 5. After you've done that, we're going to just click on the green flag. And as you can see, the background moves rather nicely to the left side of the stage. But it gets stuck on the left side and there's nothing telling it to move to the other side. To do this, what we need to do is copy this digit down here. So for me, it might it is negative 473. For you, it might be something else like negative 480 or negative 460. You want to copy this digit and paste it where the 50s are here. It tells the background that if its x position is equal to or lower than negative 473 at the moment to not do anything but we will make it so it will go to the other side of the screen to do this we just need to go to and instead of negative 473 just change that to 473 so if we click play gets to the end bang beautiful nice flow no lag at all no nothing no stuttering it's perfectly smooth and it is perfectly beautiful. However, you may have noticed that there is a massive blank spot from where it's going from left to right. This is where the second sprite comes in. To get to the second sprite, all you need to do is just right click on the first one and click duplicate. Now I'm gonna change it up just a little bit, add some variation. And for the most part, we're going to leave everything the same. Instead of being set to zero, 0, on the second sprite, we want to copy these, this digit down here and put it in the X coordinate up top. This means that this sprite will be set all the way to the right instead of the middle. Now, this should eliminate that little blank spot you have when the screen is moving. Let's test it out. Yep. Yep, nothing. There is no 
lag, no nothing. You can barely even tell that there are two different sprites. Obviously, you could make it a bit, you know, a bit, a bit easier to see or to notice. There we go. That was kind of just nicely free flow. If you want to add to randomness, you can make the clouds or the backdrop items sprites and put them in random positions every time that they go to a certain coordinate. All you need to do is just do this, but go to this, you'd put, uh, I believe you'd go to operators and pick random and then pick a random number between 400 and something to 400 and something else. That's what you need to do if you wanted to do that. But that is how you make a scrolling background in Scratch. Now, if you're wondering, oh, it's a bit too quick, really easy fix, just change the digit here. So here we have minus five, we can just change it to minus one. Now it's important you change it on both sprites. If you don't, one sprite will be moving quicker than the other or slower than the other, and it would screw up the whole illusion of a moving backdrop. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.